seen, it's there's 50, actually, 50. you know, uh, quite a bit of, of the problem coming from the male. So we actually encourage that the couple come in and, you know, um, be assessed by us, have a proper assessment so you know what the problem is. You don't point a finger at the woman, you don't point a finger at supernatural forces, etc. You know, so a, a lot of it has to do with education and awareness. And we, we also try to do that at the Bridge Clinic. Uh, you've been around for like 16 years. Absolutely. And um, we, we, we are very proud of that. Oh. We have till date, I think, done about 1,906 live births. The mathematics is about three uh, so in one every years. three days. <laughs> One thousand six hundred. One thousand nine hundred. babies running around. Absolutely, putting smiles on faces. <laughs> okay, the, the question is: How have you been able to maintain your standards? Yes, um, that's a very good question. As you know, in Nigeria, in the face of the cultural yes, bias, even apart from that, the healthcare the healthcare space in Nigeria is not regulated. Um, and as such, you have a lot of non-professionals dabbling into the IVF space. Mm -hmm. And at the Bridge Clinic, that was identified uh, at a very early stage by our MD. And he then sought to, you know, if there's no standards, doesn't mean we shouldn't have a standard. And um, we first of all started with King's College. And then along the line, we partnered with uh, VF Professor Zek, who was a very, very big player in the European market. So all our patients are, you know, reviewed with them. And, um, King's College, London? In London, yes, absolutely. And then after that, we partnered with um, IVF Professor Zek. So he comes around uh, every quarter, and we also send our own staff there on training just to ensure that, you know, we, we benchmark ourselves against, you know, European quality, world, world standards. You know, you don't have to travel to get the quality treatment that you need. You can actually have it here in Nigeria. Mm. But uh, King's College resonates more with Nigerians because of our colonial um, overhang. I mean, why did you decide to switch, I mean, Dr. Abiara? Well, yes, um, initially we, when the clinic started, because that's where Dr. Jai trained, I, so I, it's I only guessed. natural to, <laughs> yes. So, but um, when it comes to regulation in IVF, the European standard was more, and they are the leading, they have the leading pregnancy rates in Europe. So that was mainly because Nigeria, you want results. And so if they are getting it right, we really want to know what they are doing right and let's do exactly how they are doing it. Indeed. Professor so, Zek, um, go ahead. <laughs> 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 Professor Zek, from what you've seen, you know, Besides the what you talked about, what you've seen, how do you think the IVF, um, apparently for lack of a better word, IVF tradition is taking hold in Nigeria? How do you see it? Well, I'm uh, very uh, impressed on the work they are doing. And you know, you can talk about standards, but you have to enforce them, you have to implement them, and you have to see the willingness of all the team. And that's what we found. We have a strong na name, not only in Europe, worldwide. We're one of the leading facilities in IVF. We're there since the very beginning, very early stages. The first ISO standards on IVF was in our clinics. And now it's, uh, you have to have these standards mm -hmm. all across Europe, otherwise you cannot open a clinic. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we are always ahead of time, and then you see that the regulations will copy what we implemented already. And uh, we are just thinking not of what is needed, but what is out there which, you know, you have to implement to get a safe environment for the patients. You treat patients and quality is first on the safety and the results. And we cannot compromise on quality on safety. And we found these strong partners in Nigeria. You wonder how, but it's a strong partnership. And the Bridge Clinic with uh, also the leaders and Dr. Achai, who started it, the founder, um, He's not compromising on quality, and that's what we want to see because we would uh, uh, lose our reputation if we do the wrong partnership. Well, let's look at the costs in Europe and the cost here. How would you say this? Well, you know, uh, again, as I say, uh, standards and quality and implementing uh, uh, quality, it comes with its price. Mm -hmm. But uh, so let's say this partnership, teaching them, bringing in all our equipment, the best technologies, trying to maintain these technologies, try to uh, really move the field forward. It's not without cost, but we uh, uh, are here to treat the patient safely and effectively. And compared to other treatments you do, for example, you take out the appendix, it costs a lot of money and you're happy you have it out. 
Here, we establish a pregnancy and you will have it your lifetime. You'll be happy mother and father. I think that's the best you can give to the patients. Mm. Well, how would you say the costs have been? So have, far. Um, affordability and how are people buying into that? Well, um, we know that um, there's no price you can place on a child. So a lot of times, even though people might have to plan for it, but when they get results, then it's all worth it. It's just like you get a house in Ikoi or somewhere you want to buy. You are ready to, if you are sure you are going to get it, although we are not God mm. and it's not 100% yet, but if you are assured of quality and safety and good results, most of the time people are able to plan for it. Yeah, what's the result rate like? Well, mm. for, depends, it's also dependent on the age group, mm -hmm. all right, because uh, the okay. younger a woman Young. is, the better the chances, yeah. yes. In gold standard patients, young less than 35, no five, maybe just male factor infertility, you have success rates between 30 to 60 percent in Nigeria. But they mm. have higher pregnancy rates, and we're mm. still struggling, making sure, to struggling, make, to doing our that. best, yes, to make sure we get there. Okay, what what can go wrong? You get a healthy egg, you get a healthy sperm. Bingo, baby. Yes. Well. Um, <laughs> even though you have IVF and everything is, appears to be simple when you define it, you know, just to get the egg mixed with the sperm. But um, even there's still an X factor. Sometimes you have a woman who seems to be good and good age, well assessed, and you stimulate her and you get there, there's no egg. You understand? So that can go wrong. Then sometimes the man's sperms are so bad, you've tried to improve it, and then you inject it, there's no fertilization. Sometimes you have a good healthy embryo, a healthy uterus, and you transfer it, no problems, and there's no pregnancy. So I think there's still that God factor that is there. But as much as possible, the things you can correct, the things you can treat, we do all that before we even go into the process at all. So hmm. at the end of it all, you're still saying you're not God? Oh, Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> We're not God. When we get a pregnancy, all glory goes to God because... I'm not God. Okay. What makes the difference between Mrs. A and Mrs. B is the God factor. Dr. <laughs> Mokbe, yes. um, I, I, I'm kind of like stuck in that cost <laughs> for cost <laughs> area. <laughs> but uh, I was going to double bar a question. What differentiates your IVF set, uh, facility from the other? And then, do you assist your patients with the financial aspects of this? Yes, I'll take the first question. What, what differentiates the Bridge Clinic? We have uh, four key differentiators. One is our experience. We've been at this for 16 years. We're actually quite good at it. We have our collaboration. Even if you say so Even yourself. Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> yes. yes. We have our collaboration with IVF Professor Zek, who are at the cutting edge of, you know, ART technology. Okay. We also um, have our pregnancy rates which, like Dr. Abera has said, in gold standard patients, which are patients below the age of 34, we are hitting about 47% in that. And um, we have our ISO certification. We are currently the only um, IVF clinic that is ISO certified. No, so that takes care of our differentiating factors. For the, um, uh, whether we, how we help our patients, yes, we have found that there's a lot of things fighting for pocket share. So we have had um, collaborations with certain financial institutions so that we can assist you to plan towards having this procedure at our clinic. So if anybody you know is interested in that, they're very free to visit our website or walk into our clinics to get more information. Okay, uh, for, just answer us. <laughs> Please forgive me. What's that website? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, www.thebridgeclinic.com Okay. Thank Bridge you. Clinic Thank com. you so yes. much. We've been talking um, IVF, um, assisted fertility, as some people will put it. And we've had Dr. Tayo Abiara, consultant gynecologist, Thank the Bridge so Clinic. Much. Professor Nicholas Zek, TBC's partner from IVF Professor Zek Center in Austria. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And um, <laughs> Dr. Daya Mogwain, commercial director of the Bridge Clinic. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having us. We're not done here. We'll be back shortly. Don't go away.